A letter to my husband. Cody, I can't believe the day is finally here. I am forever grateful to God that our paths crossed the way they did. You make me a better person every day from putting up with my attitude to being there for me and my family. During some really hard times, I truly couldn't do this life without you. I have complete faith in our relationship, our future as husband and wife, because you are my best friend. You are loving, caring, passionate, and truly one of a kind. We complement each other so well and balance each other out when we need to, aka your ability to be on time. You remind me when I need to chill out and when some things are out of my control. Thank you for loving me as I truly am and for loving Augie with all your heart. I can't wait for the church doors to open and us to see, and to see you at the end. You are my rock, you are my best friend, and I promise to love you forever. I love you, your wife, Naomi. It's awesome. Who is giving this one? Take a deep breath. Will you now, trusting God's grace, take her to be your wedded wife? I do. Nayla, knowing that these are your God-given responsibilities to Cody, who has asked you to be his wedded wife, will you now, trusting God's grace, receive him as your husband? I will. The rings, please. All right. So Cody, as you place this ring on Nayla's finger before God and his assembly, Seal your vows with this confession. I take you, Naily. I take you, Naily. As my wedded wife. As my wedded wife. To love you according to God's word. To love you according to God's word. To forsake all others. To forsake all others. And stand by you through every trial. 
to stand by you through every trial. With this ring. With this ring. I bestow upon you. I bestow upon you. My name. My name. My possessions. My possessions. My enduring affection. My enduring affection. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe as you place this ring on Cody's finger and before God in this assembly, seal your vows with this confession. I receive you, Cody. I receive you, Cody. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To love you according to God's word. To love you according to God's word. To forsake all others. To forsake all others. And stand by you through every trial. And stand by you through every trial. With this ring. With this ring. I receive your name. I receive your name. I share your possessions. I share your possessions. And I give my enduring devotion. And I give my enduring devotion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. We present to you Mr. and Mrs. Cody Skagline. Grab your glasses. I would like to make a toast. May your hearts be open to patience and love. May your lives be filled with blessings from above. May you always share the best that life can provide as you spend your lifetime together side by side. Linda and I could not be more proud of you and to be your parents. I have to tell you when I thought about the wedding and things like that, what, what do I cherish? And I can honestly tell you that the thoughts of Naley as a little toddler running around always in a dress, all those curls and toting Minnie everywhere she went. That was a special memory. And of course, building on special memories was walking you down the hop, the aisle today. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Thank you. I remember a moment shortly after their engagement when Neely said, everything that's right in the world is Cody. I had to pull out my phone and write it down <laughs> because it just struck me as the purest expression of love. Everything that's right in the world is Cody. I mean, if that's not love, I don't know what is. <laughs> Neely and Cody, I cannot be happier for you. It's been so incredible to watch your relationship grow and strengthen and to just see your genuine love. You truly bring out the best in each other. As you start this new chapter of your life, Please know that I'll always be here cheering you on <laughs> and wishing you a life filled with so much joy. So here's to a lifetime filled with love, adventure, and unforgettable moments. Congratulations to you both. I love you so much. Cheers. Love is a wonderful thing. And to see Naley and Cody express their love with one another in marriage is a blessing to me and I'm sure to you. We're gathered here with them to celebrate this occasion. So let us pray. 
My dad always said Cody was a, a very particular person. He's very particular about his things. And if anybody's ever made plans with Naley, I bet that you would feel comfortable in saying that she's also pretty particular about times, dates, and places. But that's important. You need those types of things. It comes from the heart. It comes from both of their hearts. Naley and Cody both give it their all. No matter the task, no matter where you want them to be, Cody and Naley balance each other out perfectly and they will be there. So Naley, if I could give you any advice coming from Cody's older, more mature, funnier, stronger, faster, uh, can hold his breath way longer, first partner in crime, please let him win, please let him make the decisions, please just do whatever he says, it will work out, honestly. I love you guys, we all love you guys, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for the t t three of you, Augie. Um, let's please raise our glasses and cheers to your neighbors. Let's give it up for Cody and Naley. We're here, we made it.